Saturday, January 15th, this is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News in Shinrin Yoku. It's been quite a day for geologic phenomenon, starting off with the explosion of the Hunga Tonga volcano, ongoing still to 63,000 feet. We'll get to that later in the video. But this is the first volcano that has registered on USGS and recorded history of M5.8 volcanic eruption. What that means is anyone's guess, but it was in fact listed as M5.8 volcanic eruption. Absolutely spectacular explosion and shockwave heard as far as 6,000 miles away in Alaska. People were asking about sonic booms they were heard, that were heard in Alaska, and the U.S. National Weather Service in Anchorage confirmed that the big booming sounds they were hearing are shockwaves that had finally reached Alaska. They reached here today at 1.30, and all of our animals jumped off the ground. It was absolutely insane, and uh, I confirmed that four hours later when I got the um, official data. And here we are just seeing moments ago another Himawari or another volcanic ash segment coming up here at flight level 63,000. So there's still ongoing activity almost 14 hours after the initial blast. Now, if you haven't seen it, this is the shockwave that hit over on Fiji. Check all of that out. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Money. Fuck. Alu. He knew. He knew about the tsunami. He knew, let's go. Holy shit. Fuck. Alu. Alu. Get out. Holy shit. All links to the videos will be below. And we might have some uh, issues with my audio because we have so many videos pulled up here. And my apologies. Hunga Tonga Volcano, Haipei, and Tonga. Dangerous eruption with huge ash cloud. Up to 20 kilometers triggered tsunamis Pacific wide. And some of them were unexpected. And we're going to show you some of the best footage, all the footage we could find from the eruption at Hunga Tonga just about 16 hours ago. I don't have the exact hours. It is 9 p.m. here. And. And let's uh, dive into it. Let's dive into the day. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is uh, a satellite image from MODIS. And look here over at the bottom right at the size of this eruption. This is the main initial blast hitting the stratosphere. I mean, it's as big as half of New Zealand. For goodness sake, it, there's New Zealand. It's as big as New Zealand. That is a huge eruption. And this is high definition satellite imagery, just as the eruption occurred there in Tonga. Absolutely amazing. When, it, when you look at it on a planetary scale and why they heard it up in Alaska, well, that's the boom and the shockwave went out. There's a lot of shockwave videos. I didn't pull one up here and I apologize. But we did pull up here is a tsunami model that they came up with because some of the biggest tsunamis were here in Mexico and they just wanted to figure out why that was. And so excellent uh, tsunami modeling here from Angel Ruiz. So give him a thumbs up or a love there on the Twitter and retweet that because that's pretty fantastic. So we might as well do that live on air. Thank you, Angel Ruiz. And the Soquel Creek in Santa Cruz was flowing backwards. We thought it was pretty fantastic. This is a tidal creek, and this is the tsunami rushing in. I'm sure a lot of panties are in a bunch during this event. Now, some of the other videos we have pulled up are a little higher resolution. Thank you. So we'll just shut that one down. Now, the footage we're about to look at here is from Paracas, Peru. It just shot up on the interwebs about two hours ago. Paracas in Peru, where they weren't expecting anything. They were all like waiting for a little tiny wave. Un salido de control. Ha ocupado el mar todo el bulevar. Hasta el parque se encuentran los servicios higiénicos en todo el stand. Those people are about to get electrocuted. Now 
Now, what we should take heed from here watching these videos of a Pacific-wide tsunami is the Atlantic-wide tsunami phenomena as well. This is not a seismic event. This is not a normal tsunami-causing event. This was a freomagmatic explosion, and because it happened just in the subsurface or just below uh, the surface of the ocean, it pushed out a wave. Now, had this been a full submarine volcano, the tsunami would have been much bigger. So, that's just a sign of the times and a heed and a warning. Now, this is breaking news here. We have high-resolution images of Honga Tonga Haipei after the explosion from today. And the morphological changes on the island, the entire island has been blown away. Yes, the entire island has been blown away. This is the volcano from January 7th. And we're going to uh, do a side-by-side. -side. And, and so we can look and see where the main activity was happening and what has happened. Okay, so let's open this up and let's move this over here. So this is the morphology in, on January 7th, just one week ago. And we could see two main craters or two calderas blowing. These were blowing uh, at one point to 50,000 feet, but around 25,000 feet on average. And then today's 63,000 foot VEI, four or so, and there is no evidence of any calderas, no island, just blown away. So now there is one single deep vent, and I don't know if you can actually see it, but I see a circular feature here. You can even see the ripples on the left. So there's one huge single caldera now, circular vent which is now capable of, well, anyone's guess. And this is still um, a subsurface volcano. You can see the, the water rushing over the sands there. Yes, the ocean has filled in there where the explosion has removed, you know, a square mile, a cubic mile of material or got, who knows? I'm just guessing. But fantastic footage. This was a week ago and there's that rim. Here is the other uh, side of the butterfly. Where is that? Where are we? Here's the other side of the butterfly. So all of this, I mean, it's just missing. A lot of it is missing. And this photo just came from moments ago. 3.25 p.m. tote, and it's 8 p.m. So amazing footage that we're sharing with you of the new morphology of Honga Tonga. Here is the main caldera now, which is completely covered in sand. So the next time this goes boom, it's going to shoot all of that sand straight up into the stratosphere. Now, as we end, this is Tonga, Honga Tonga tsunami unseen footage from some live streamers that thought they were going to uh, get amazing footage, but in fact ended up being a Darwin Award. Uh, almost no one has this footage. But please share it widely and enjoy. Give them a thumbs up here at the channel. Subscribe to Data Tree. There's no one looking at this. Awesome. You certainly got the shot. That's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Hope you got something out of the video. Huge events happening worldwide, and we're reporting on them one day at a time, one thing at a time. You can do it too. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with like minded people. Be safe. We love you. Mm-hmm.